Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Life in the Hyam House. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend. And uh, we took last weekend off because it was our work, ministry work weekend, which means we pretty much spent the entire weekend doing ministry on Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. So we didn't get any vlogging done. And we had a crazy busy week this past week. But it's Saturday and uh, it's actually, we're already into the afternoon on Saturday. We've already had a kind of... Uh, a mixed morning of, of doing some house projects and doing some other things that needed to be done. Uh, but we wanted to get on and uh, we wanted to do a quick weekend vlog because it is a rest Saturday for us, which basically just means we're not doing ministry work. So we're at the house. We're doing some things in and around the house because it is March the 26th, March 26th. Um, and... Uh, Believe it or not, it's snowing. Well, I guess it's not that hard of a thing to believe because we've often had snow in March. Uh, we've often been in places where we've had snow in April. But woke up this morning, we had snow on the ground. Um, we have had flurries all day long. There's currently nothing on the ground now, if you can see outside. So this morning that was all covered in snow. Um, vehicles, rooftops, all covered in snow. Uh, it's all melted away. But we're still getting intermittent uh, snow flurries coming through the area. And so you'll look out the, one, the window one second and it's just a cold winter day. Uh, look out the window five seconds later and we've got like, <laughs> like massive snowflakes falling down. So it's kind of crazy. Anyhow, uh, today's a, a work day around the house. Uh, so I'm currently in the garage. We've got some projects in here that I need to do. I need to get rid of that right there. It's our refrigerator. It's going to go to my office. Um, we've got to set up the uh, uh, greenhouse over here because we've got some new uh, stuff that we're going to start planning here. Um, and some other projects that we've got to go on in the house. But weird thing uh, that we want to share with you. Um, we've got some, uh, we got some new friends. So, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, turn this around to some of our new friends. This was, uh, something we've been talking about doing. Um, haven't done it yet. Uh, but yesterday we were out running some errands, doing some shopping and, uh, not quite spur of the moment, but kind of spur of the moment. We came home with these little guys. So I say not quite spur of the moment because we've been talking for a while. The plan has always been to eventually get chickens again. Um, if you followed our vlog before, uh, we've had, um, we've raised uh, chickens in the past. Uh, we enjoyed it. Oh, there you go. Time out. Hold on. Check this out. All right, just said nothing. And then a split second later, don't know if you can actually see, but it's snowing again. Maybe if I go open the door. Let's see. Can you see that? Yep. Hopefully you can see it on the, the camera. I don't know if you can or can't, but snowing again. Anyhow, sorry, a little bunny trail distraction there. So anyhow, there, we, we used to have chickens. When we lived in our old place in uh, Pennsylvania, we raised chickens. We enjoyed having the fresh farm eggs. Um, lots of fun. We had chickens, we had ducks, we had turkey. Um, at one point we tried to do pheasants, but they flew away. Um, anyhow, it's just a, a fun little like hobby of mine. And uh, we've always talked about like we would like to do chickens in the new house and uh, be able to have fresh eggs again. And so um, we have been kind of delaying in it for a little while, uh, waiting until we had the lower part of our yard cleaned out and we were able to put a coop up that was secure. If you remember back in the beginning of 2021, I think it was, uh, no, actually I think it was 2020, back in 2020, we, uh, I picked up a bunch of ducks and uh, they were brutally massacred uh, in the summer of 2020. We went away for um, a little bit of a vacation. We left one of our sons home. He came out one morning and either it was coyote or fox or something, totally broke into the, the duck pen and just, just ravaged the ducks. I mean, just, it was horrendous. Um, and so we've been waiting to do that again until we actually had the ability to make them secure. Um, but uh, one of the things that we've been kind of coping with 
you know, ever since we announced that bre uh, that Amy had breast cancer, uh, we've been kind of on this place of not wanting to really do anything because of the whole cancer thing. We weren't sure what life would look like. And we were just out and we were looking at the chicks and I don't know, it was a, it was a feel good moment, I guess. That's what we, all I can say is we, we just wanted to do something that brought us joy again and gave us something to look forward to and be excited about. And, and so, yeah, we got them. In fact, we got them and uh, we didn't tell anybody we were getting them and we had to pick up the kids after school and we hid everything until they got into the car and the car was packed because we were doing shopping, Sam's, Walmart, the whole nine yards. And so the, the car was pretty full with, with all, the, all the stuff that we bought, plus their school stuff. And so they were crammed in. I mean, like totally crammed into the back seat. And um, all of a sudden we turned around from the front seat where we had the, the chicks hidden in boxes. And we're like, sorry guys, it's really crowded in here, so much stuff, uh, but we'd also need you to hold this on your lap. And we handed them two boxes that were full of chicks. Um, and they just, they went crazy. Asher and, and Brea just went nuts. They were so excited. Um, so yeah, we're hoping these little guys bring us a little bit of joy, a little bit of fun. And uh, it'll be fun to watch them grow up again and uh, get fresh eggs. And so over the course of the summer, we'll be building a coop and clearing out a space in the yard for them. And uh, yeah, should be lots of fun. Anyhow, it brings us joy. It makes us happy. And uh, it actually made Amy smile because, you know, she's the one that's like, yeah, I don't know if we want to do this again. But she was, she was the one who actually said, let's go get them. So, uh, so we got that. Anyhow, so they're in the garage for now. They're so cute. They're little. Um, so there are three of them that are just a week old and the rest of them are, are already over a week old. So, uh, in 21 weeks, we'll have eggs. Yay! So, but um, that, so we got that, so that's fun. But we also picked up some um, seeds for some vegetables and for some, for some flowers. We're going to attempt this year to do a cutting, uh, cut flower, flower bed. Basically, it's a bunch of flowers that you can cut and they regrow. And so we're going to do a flower bed built, uh, filled with all of these things. And so we picked up some other flowers that Amy wanted and uh, some of our vegetables that we generally eat and plant and can. And uh, we're gonna get all those done. Not today, it's too cold to do any of that stuff. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. It's Saturday, it's, it's a, a house day. And yeah, let's, let's go see what the day comes, what, what the day brings. Yeah, all that good stuff. They're so cold, they're huddling oh together. Just happy. We <laughs> don't AC no. find them. Look at these ones. These ones are tiny. I know tiny. they're my cuties. These ones are so tiny. They're so tiny. What about this? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, they're so cute. I'm shaking. I know they're literally shaking. They're shaking. No, 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 Oh, this one's really sad. It's I know. Cold. That one was the one. That one was literally on its Why side. Why don't you put them back in there? So, like that one, because it's really cold. At least it's a little bit protected there. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave it open like that overnight. All right, there they are. Look at this. Disgusting. Why do they do that? Eat. Okay, friends, we have hit uh, seven twenty on Saturday. We pretty much spent the day running some errands, working around the house. Uh, not a whole lot of excitement, but. Uh, at the end of the day, I thought I'd bring you out real quick here. Look, can you see it? Top of the cars, look at this. Yep. Snowing again, and it has been snowing on and off all day long. 
Right now nothing's laying on the ground. It's all kind of just falling. You can see it over there. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, and it's been doing it all day. But uh, we're going to wrap things up for today. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a busy day. We have church tomorrow. And then we have a church family dinner. Um, and then we have a couple hours in between those things. So I'm not sure what tomorrow's going to look like. But we'll jump on. It's not a, a very eventful weekend. But tomorrow I do want to show you some of the projects we're working on today. And so we'll wrap them up tomorrow. You'll see the end results. And uh, we took a few pictures of stuff that we did today. Uh, Amy did a great job working on the backsplash. Um, there we go. Working on the backsplash in the kitchen. It came out really nice. So we're putting the kitchen back to, in order. And I think we want to take the pantry room. Uh, but like a little butler's pantry. We're gonna turn it into like more of a mobile office, working office. Try to do that tomorrow, but we'll see. But for now, yeah, Amy's like, mm, we'll see. But you got a lot done. I did get a lot done. So you got a lot done too. I got a lot of stuff done too. It's just like bill stuff and like insurance stuff, like stuff that like you just gotta do. Like our insurance is like ready to start a new policy like it's renewing itself it's like now's the time to shop around to see if you want to do something else anyhow that's all crazy stuff but check in with us tomorrow well we'll be here tomorrow but for you it'll be just after this quick transition see you then good morning family and friends it's now monday morning um i know we said we would try to come back on sunday but i also warned you that sunday was a busy work day for us um church and then a church meeting. And um, so we didn't vlog a whole lot yesterday, but <laughs> it's Monday morning. And uh, yeah, we're getting more snow. So quick update here on the weekend. It's pretty much flurried and snowed all day Saturday. Nothing laid, just, just snow falling from the ground. Sunday, we had a little bit of snow flurries throughout the day. And then here we are, it is March the 28th, and um, it's snowing again, and I'm okay with that, I'm okay. Um, here's what we're gonna do, it's Monday morning, gotta get the kids to school, I got a super crazy busy work week this week, um, I, have to, I have a full day today, uh, we are going tomorrow for Amy's appointment, I'm gonna come back after I take the kids to school and give you a quick update of where we are with Amy and her cancer, um, and then... Uh, Tuesday we have an appointment. We'll probably vlog some of that for future vlog content. Um, and then Wednesday, I have a full, absolutely full crazy packed day. And Thursday, I have a very full day. And then we have a student event Friday night into Saturday morning. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Um, so we have a crazy busy week this week. So don't know how much vlogging we're going to do during the week. But um, hopefully on Sunday, uh, we'll, we'll have some time to grab the camera again. Um, but I'm going to say keep watching because like we're adding more content. The vlog is, is up and running. We have a bunch of Easter content coming out over the next couple of weeks. Um, we have started creating little shorts on um, social media. So like uh, YouTube shorts, uh, TikToks, and uh, even some things on uh, Reels. Um, so we're creating a bunch of stuff right now, just fun little things. So I would say make sure you're following us, um, you know, make sure you're, you're ringing the bell because when we post a short, like we're gonna be posting shorts throughout the week, little clips throughout the week. Um, and then uh, make sure you're following us on Instagram, uh, Life in the Hyam House. Uh, you'll be able to see all those little shorts and those little reels and TikToks and yeah. So come and do that. Um, lots of content coming your way. Um, lots of reposting like we have a bunch of really fun Easter stuff and some other things that we did with the kids when they were younger um, We're gonna re be reposting some of that stuff just because it's still applicable. It's Easter like our peeps shows and um, Some Easter theme stuff like yeah, the one year Brea and I made Easter pancakes That's a real fun video. So we're just gonna doing a lot of that type of sharing um, And then we're super excited We're having some visitors for Easter this year. And so we're gonna be working and building up to that. And uh, we'll, we'll share more about that as we get there. But Monday morning, the snow is falling. The snow is laying on the ground. This is amazing. Um, gotta get the kids to school. So I'll come back with a quick update on Amy in just a few minutes, but let me get the kids to school.
All right, I showed you what the back of the house looks like, but holy cow, just came out front to take the kids to school. <laughs> it's, this is like a full on snowstorm here. Look at this. Oh well, gotta go. Um, okay, so dropped the kids off and uh, on my way to uh, get to work here. Um, but I said I wanted to come back and give you guys just a quick update of what's happening. Uh, by the way, dropped the kids off at school, no snow. Absolutely none. Not a flurry, not a flake, nothing. In fact, the skies right now are blue and clear. It's so crazy how where we live, just a little higher up um, from everybody else in our town, uh, we generally experience colder temperatures um, by at least five degrees. And there are tons of times where we have flurries and snow and no one else does. So really loving where we live. Anyhow, um, so yeah, quick update here. Um, so today is the 28th of March. Tomorrow is the 29th, uh, Tuesday. And uh, Amy and I have uh, our next doctor, surgical consult, uh, this time with a plastic surgeon. Um, so let me give you just a quick update. Amy and I have been wanting to get on the vlog and share some stuff with you guys, but um, honestly, life has been a little more chaotic and busy uh, as of late, and so we just haven't had the time to sit down and actually update you guys. But let me just give a quick update. Uh, a couple Fridays ago, um, we went and met with the surgical oncologist. This is the the cancer doc specialist who just deals with um, uh, surgical, you know, you know, surgical stuff. It's not a general surgeon. It's specifically she she focuses on surgeries with for patients with cancer, um, particularly yeah, with breast cancer, and so. Um, she, we met with her and her team for an hour, about an hour and a half total, um, which was absolutely amazing. I can't even tell you the last time uh, any doctor spent anything more than like 15 minutes with any of us in, in an office. And with our kids, you know, we've had our fair share of uh, sports injuries, broken bones, things like that. And every every time we're in an office, it's like, five, 10, 15 minutes max they spent with you. So we were super, super stoked that uh, she spent a good hour and a half with us, her and her team. Um, but really went over a lot of the, the, well, you know, the diagnosis, the type of cancer Amy has, um, how it, it functions and operates, um, why it's so important that we get it now before it becomes worse. Um, but also gave us a lot of hope in saying that because it's at this time that because it's contained, um, it should be a, a pretty easy surgery to remove. Um, it's going to be a, a devastating surgery, um, but they're confident that they'll be able to go in, um, remove all of the cancer, and Amy should be cancer free after that. Um, it also means because they're so confident they can get it all out. Um, at this point, she won't be needing any radiation or chemo or, or anything like that. Um, whether or not she has to be on meds, um, that will be determined after the surgery. We'll meet back with our oncologist, um, who again is amazing. We'll talk about him at another time. Um, he will decide what the next course of, of care would be after the surgery. Um, so really excited, not really excited, let me take it back, really hopeful um, about where we are. Um, and so after meeting with the, the surgical oncologist, then um, we had to meet with the plastic surgeon because the recommendation at this point is because the cancer itself uh, is covering an area of about seven centimeters, which is pretty significant. Um, she's gonna, Amy's gonna have to have a, a mastectomy uh, and totally lose her her breast, um, which we're just we're crushed with that. We were we were hoping for something better, but at the same time, we'd rather get I'd rather get the cancer out and know that we're healthy than to you know cope with you know the time bomb of when's it going to spread, when's it going to get worse. So we'll we'll talk about that later too. 
Um, but she's gonna have to have a mastectomy, which means um, this, you know, it's gonna be a pretty, a pretty big surgery. Um, so we have to meet with a plastic surgeon because the way they do it is um, they'll go in, remove the cancer, and then plastic surgery can come in and in most cases begin the reconstruction like right then and there. That way either Amy's healing from both procedures at once, we're not making multiple trips, having multiple surgeries, um, you know, they're not gonna cut her open more than once. Like it'll just be the initial incision, the cancer will come out, and then the plastic surgeons will come in and do their part. Um, there is a small possibility that for whatever reasons, this, the plastic surgeon might not be able to do the reconstruction right then and there, and then we would be looking at multiple surgeries. But they're pretty confident at this point um, that they can go in, do the removal, and um, be able to do the reconstruction right away. Um, but that's what we're gonna go on Tuesday, the 29th. We're gonna see the plastic surgeon, and the plastic surgeon will pretty much dictate our next couple steps for the surgery. So he'll he'll set the date, he'll book the OR, and uh, we'll pretty much be doing whatever he says to do. Um, and then he'll coordinate with the oncologist, and they'll make sure that they're you know they're both teams are working together to get in and uh, do the mastectomy. So that's where we are. Um, I do, Amy and I do want to give a, a more thorough uh, update. We want to talk about some things that we're dealing with. Um, we've, we've been dealing with some emotions. We've been dealing with some, some, um, some anger, some anxiousness, some fear. You know, all the things that I think are natural to be feeling. Um, but we're also really trying to lean into knowing that God is faithful. He has a purpose. He has a plan. Um, and somehow through all of this, uh, he's, he will, he will be glorified and we're looking forward to that. Like we're really trying to put God at the focal point of all of this to say, God, we trust you and we're going to praise you, um, in the midst of everything that we're dealing with and going through. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we are. Um, maybe after Tuesday's appointment, we can get back on and give you a better update. Maybe we'll have, um, I don't know if we'll get a, a surgical date right then and there. Um, we may have to wait a day or two to actually get the date. But um, uh, I think at this point, because of ORs and, and COVID, um, you know, the, the one doctor said we might not actually see the surgery till late April or even May. Um, so I don't want to speculate that. I don't want to try to guess, but it, it'll probably be after Easter that we have the surgery. But um, we'll get on again and we'll share that with you and we'll update you and um, just kind of keep you all in the loop and, and, and to say thank you. Like we, we appreciate so many of you have reached out and um, shared with us that you're praying for us and um, we're in your thoughts and if we need anything just to reach out and um, thank you for that. We really appreciate that. I think the thing that we covet most is your prayers. Um, we just, um, we, we love knowing that, that you're out there praying for us and that just brings us um, all the more peace and comfort and the ability to keep putting God uh, first in all of this. And, and so if we could ask anything from you, just keep praying, um, pray for the, the surgery you're gonna see this after our appointment but uh, pray for the surgery pray for the surgeons both the oncologist and the plastic I mean anytime you cut somebody open there is so much risk involved even if they do it all the time like surgery surgery and you know anything you can go wrong so um, just keep praying for us in that pray for our kids um, we keep checking in with them to see how they're feeling about all of this and and for the most part they're like we're we're okay we're good uh, we've tried to be very you know upfront and clear about what's happening and what's going to happen and and I think they're doing well but um, you know we, we want to create a space that if they have questions or if they have fears or concerns they can come and talk to us and uh, maybe as we get closer to the surgery they'll maybe they'll share but I think they're okay but pray for them through all of this um, we just really appreciate that and for everybody who's reached out and said you let us know what, you, what we need um, we are we are good for now Amy is good for now 
um, this cancer she's not sick she's not feeling any pain she's you know it's it is what it is but she's doing good um, and um, I'm just doing everything I can right now to, to support her and be there for her and when she's angry I'm trying to let her be angry when she's sad I'm letting her be sad and and we're both kind of navigating through those emotions together and trying to figure out what life looks like. Um, how do I love her and support her well? And how can I be a partner for her through all of this? So um, that's kind of just where we are. So um, thank you so much for everything. And we'll do our very best to keep you all up to date and uh, in the loop of all things that are happening. Um, so I'm going to wrap up. And uh, here we are. I'm, I'm up on a hill again. and. The snow is beginning to fall and uh, I'm going to get to work and um, like I said, we have a busy week this week and we just want to jump in and get at it and, and, and trust God through everything. So again, love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching and, and being a part of Life in the High M House. Um, we are increasing our content. I said that already. Um, there's lots of fun Easter stuff coming uh, your way. So follow along, subscribe. Um, if you're watching us on the vlog, and you are a new subscriber. Our subscribe numbers have gone up a little bit. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and uh, if you know other families that would just appreciate, you know, good, fun, clean family content, um, that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to put stuff out there that the family can enjoy. Silly stuff, fun stuff, a little bit of our story. Um, and uh, we just, we just want to be encouraging for you. So thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, thank you for everything you're doing to encourage us. And uh, yeah, have a great week and uh, we'll see you next time on Life in the High House.